Good morning, I'm Sean Kantayashi with Saucon Valley Cute and Cuddly Toy Schnauzers. And today I'm going to do two things in this video. I'm going to talk about uh, schnauzers, what's better, a male or a female dog. And then I'm also gonna give you an update here on Penny's puppies and how they are doing. So I'll let you watch along here with Penny and her puppies as I talk about the differences between males and females, people often have very strong preferences about having a male or a female dog based on what they experienced with their own family pets as a child. But what about people who never owned a dog before, who are now considering what gender of puppy would be best for them? Well, let me fill in some details for you that will be very helpful regardless of what breed you are looking at, but I'm obviously focusing on toy and mini schnauzers here. This happens to be Liberty. Hi, Liberty. Liberty's up here at the moment with us, and she is uh, helping take care of and socialize these little puppies. So in this video, I'm gonna share generalizations about males and female dogs to help you make the decision for yourself about which gender you would prefer. One difference that you will experience between boy and girl dogs is, is going to be related to how they pee. So how they potty when they are peeing is one of the biggest differences. A boy will lift his leg and a girl will squat. However, I'm speaking in terms of the norm or most common experience. And this is not always the case. So I have a female who's a pack leader who lifts her leg and I have boys who are not pack leaders who are quite happy to squat. So again, in general, I want you to be thinking that a boy will probably lift his leg. So you need to be prepared for that. If you have a breeding dog, say you're considering being in our guardian dog family, then it will play out a little bit more specifically and we will talk through that. So dogs that have not been neutered or spayed will often want to mark their territory if there is a dog that is in season. In other words, if some breeding is going on, they will want to mark more commonly. And if you have a guardian dog in our breeding program, then that dog will stay here in our home through puppy prep school. And uh, we will teach the puppy about basic obedience and uh, basic house training skills so that we'll talk all of that out with you. In some breeds, males are known to be more aggressive yeah. However, this is not something I am concerned about with schnauzers. I've not seen this play out in that way with my breed. Um, so I, I wanna indicate that playing intensely, playing intensely is very different from having an aggressive dog. So I've just not had dogs that ended up being highly aggressive in any way. Again, they'll play, but these are not dogs that were bred to fight or to defend. And so I've never had to worry about that type of uh, behavior. Both males and females can be highly affectionate. My males seem to want me and to be more active in their expression of affection, while my females are more willing to cuddle and snuggle in uh, without such uh, physical dem demonstration of their affection. Young puppies, uh, 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 one of the things I think that's important to know is my males, for example, tend to be willing to sleep at the foot of the bed or they'll sleep near the door to the bedroom where my females will want to cuddle in more with me when sleeping. And uh, all of the dogs will give the space closest to me to the youngest puppy. 
and young puppies, regardless of gender, will alert me when they need to go potty by either licking me on the cheek when they're when it, when we're sleeping in bed, or they might make a squeak noise if I haven't caught this the cheek lick thing. But again, that's all genders will do that with me. All right, what else related to male, female? I've read some research that says females bark more, but my experience is that barking can be handled early with a puppy. So in other words, if you start at a really young age teaching uh, a puppy about barking, look at that tail wagging, so cute. You won't have barky dogs. So I've done several videos on the topic of how to teach your dog not to bark. And most of that is related to you being the pack leader and showing your dog that you've got it handled, that you're the pack leader. Isn't he adorable? Just sleeping there. All right, so which gender is easier to obedience train? This is another question that I am sometimes asked. So if you want to do something like agility or obedience or some sort of sporting activities with your dog, I will tell you that, again, I think both genders can uh, handle being trained very, very well. However, males tend to, big generalization here, be more active in training and to enjoy it more. However, again, I've, I've got examples. Savannah is one of my dogs who just absolutely loves agility work and outdoor work, and she can just go for hours with uh, obedience work. So um, again, if, if you say, hey, I know I definitely want a dog for agility and sports and outdoor activity and running and moving a lot, I would go with one of the larger male schnauzers specifically for that. So this idea of um, agility and sports related, schnauzers can be fantastic with that. All right, the next difference that sometimes pops up is related to size. And in many breeds, the male versus female debate, debate has an impact on the size of the dog. But in schnauzers and particularly in our toy and mini schnauzers, uh, gender does not uh, determine who will be the largest in the litter. Right now, in this particular litter, uh, Gatsby is the largest puppy in weight size. However, his sister, Birdie, is a real close second. So again, uh, in miniature and toy schnauzers, gender does not impact the final full-grown weight as much as other things do. All right, if you already own a dog and you're getting your second or your third, please confirm that your first or second has already been neutered or spayed. This is a really big deal. If you are just going to be having pets, in other words, dogs that are not breeding dogs, please confirm that uh, your dogs are already neutered, spayed, so that when you get the second dog, you're in good shape. Or if you get two young puppies together, this can also work well and they can be spayed right around the same time, spayed or neutered. So thus, uh, the, the gender of the dog boils down to this for me. If you plan to walk a dog outside, either gender can work really well. Males and females do great on walks outside and being potty trained to go outside. If you plan to have a dog that is going to be inside only, really think through your potty training and potty uh, area. If you're using potty pads, if you have a boy, he's going to raise his leg potentially on those potty pads. And so if you have a gated playpen, you'll need to figure out how you're going to keep that clean. One of the things that I've done is design a shower system in my home, so when we were designing the bathroom for the lower level with the, the dogs, we intentionally uh, designed a shower that would enable our boys to go potty on the walls in the shower area. So that we have that set up in, our, in both our master bathroom and in the uh, 
dog bathroom area. So I would highly recommend male, female, outdoors. You'll have no problems with potty behavior, but um, if you are doing an indoor dog, you may want to consider a female who will squat or think through the space where your male will go potty very well. So thus gender boils down to, is it an indoor or an outdoor dog? And where are you going to have the potty behavior going on? So once you've got that thought out, your next consideration is what do you want to do with your dog? Do you want a highly active dog with lots of uh, obedience and uh, training going on? Or do you uh, more want a, a dog that will cuddle with you and uh, be next to you all the time. So think that out and talk that out with me or with your breeder. By discussing these options with your breeder and getting on their waiting list for the gender, the color, the size that you want, they can literally, you know, I use DNA to literally determine who I'm going to breed to whom based on what is on my waiting list. So Liberty right now is in season and we will be breeding Liberty this week to a little boy who's a pound larger than her. So these are gonna be very small puppies, very little. And he's a pound larger than her. He's the same color as her, but Liberty has blue eyes and he has brown eyes. So some of the puppies might have blue eyes potentially, and some will have brown eyes. So it's these kinds of things that you talk out with your breeder so that you can get exactly the color combination that you are looking for. Now in many and toy schnauzers, it's really hard to predict size. So I'm sharing that because we do the best that we can related to size and then mother nature has a say in this also. If you are getting value out of these videos, please subscribe and follow along. We have lots of playlists here that are designed to help you. If you are a new puppy buyer, we have a series on setting your puppy up for success, all things puppy. And if you are looking at getting a toy or mini schnauzer, we have all sorts of tips and techniques and so forth. We have training, a whole series on our puppy prep school training. So again, look at the playlists, follow along. Penny and her puppies here. That's what you're seeing today. These are all Penny and her puppies. And there is a playlist that shows you from the beginning when they were first born all the way through. So you'll be able to see them even as they are getting ready to go home to their new families. Again, thank you so much for watching. We appreciate you being here with us and we'll say to be continued. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.